So every once in a while, you run into the same set of guys here on GT Sport, and unfortunately for us, we've ran across a guy that you guys actually saw last week named Luis, who was just taking people out left and right, just had no respect towards anybody, and just being, just, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but anyways, you can see this chalky mattress guy right behind us was actually Luis in a second account. So I did not know this at the moment. I actually got told by the chat when I was doing my live stream that this chalky mattress guy was Luis. Now, I didn't believe them. I didn't know whether to believe that it was actually him or not. But you guys are going to see on this race and on this video that, yes, Luis had made a second account and he is back on a rampage. So. Here at Fuji Speedway, we get our 3-2-1 and away we go. Group 1 for this daily race C. 13 laps around here with the soft and medium compound tires. Uh, heading into turn number 1, we go onto the inside, break early so that we avoid making contact with Skunk. But Reynaldo was able to make a great overtake on the outside. Just gets a lot of grip and he's able to take away P. Steve away from us. And we are now demoted back into 7th place. So going back to... Uh, chalky matches right behind us. Uh, he was actually racing fairly clean uh, earlier and uh, I don't know what well I actually I do know what sent him off the edges here but it was actually what happened right behind as we're running, riding along with Bagger here he goes into the inside just pushes out Luis aka Chalky and uh, he didn't like that he didn't really appreciate that so heading into turn number 10 you see he's right behind these two now instead of taking out Jay he decides to take us Super and Holman into turn number 10 and was able to get around all three of them and heading into the uh, third sector and uh, that was very very interesting for some reason he was you know mad at the other two drivers so he took them out that basically had no part into the incident but I mean at, at this point it wasn't really that surprised so we just continue on forward we got a accidental one and a half second penalty due to the fact that we accidentally corner cut it turn 10 and uh, you can see on the gap that we were able to actually build about a two second gap away from Chalky. Now you're going to see exactly what happened and what transpired to turn into that two second as Luis just takes out Holman. Holman was on the outside. He said, you know what? I'm not going to let you pass. I'm just going to ram you right off the road. Pushes out Holman, destroys Holman and basically his race is over and uh, yeah, he got demoted back to who knows where and uh, Luis was able to get around us heading into turn number one So I didn't want to deal with the shenanigans. We were on the uh, racing mediums uh, not the racing softs uh, as the first compound Just uh, wanted to get rid of the slowest compound tires right off the bat Especially since we were starting somewhere, uh, you know towards the middle of the pack didn't want to abuse the soft compound tires and just accidentally uh, overwork them when I could have used them when I have open track uh, later on in the race and try to pull away but jump into lap number three nothing really happened as you can see we we're just staying right behind uh, Luis here throughout the entirety of uh, lap number two and majority of lap number three and uh, my suspicion was that he was on the sauce just due to the fact that he was gaining a lot of grip on the corners uh, I can just tell that he was able to just get on the power a lot earlier and was able to take a lot uh, quicker lines heading into the corner so I was expecting he was on the softs and as well as the, the Brazilian right next to us as we're just struggling here on the mediums just doing everything in our power to to find some pace here just could not get these tires working as you can see the top six up ahead were able to just pull away I was suspecting that those guys were on the softs but uh, not really fighting with anybody we didn't want to maximize our time on the mediums we just wanted to run nice clean laps uh, we just allowed anybody that wanted to go for an overtake to just get the overtake done because once we get onto the softs that's when it's going to be our time to shine and we're just going to start pushing and pushing and pushing just putting quick consistent laps and uh, hopefully we can make up some time on the leaders up ahead so uh, heading into turn number six here the Brazilian gets a one second penalty for corner cutting and uh, trust me I feel I feel his pain I feel his pain I know what it feels like to get a penalty around here it's the absolute worst uh, especially around Fuji just because the penalty zone is right in the beginning of the straight so that one second penalty basically turns into a two second penalty if you decide to run the entirety of the straight uh, all the way up into turn number one so we get around him he had a service penalty and uh, we work our way now up into eighth so and 
This is exactly what I want to see. We have nice, clean, open track. We don't have to worry about anyone around us. We have about a half a second to a second gap away from bullet ridden right behind. And if we could just focus on hitting our marks, hitting our lines, is this going to be our in-lap? Uh, we can put in a, a nice in-lap end um, when we get onto the sauce. And like I said, I'm hoping that we get clear open track as well and we can just push, push, push and uh, make up some time on the leaders up ahead. So coming off the final corner, we uh, did kind of close down the gap to Luis. It's, it was about a one and a half second uh, gap before and uh, heading into the pits here. I thought he was actually going to come into the pits. He kind of faked me out there, but we come in. It was a scheduled stop right there. As a couple guys up ahead and behind were on the mediums as well and decided to come in uh, along with me. And coming out of the final, or uh, out of, into first corner, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm, clearly my English just left me. But going into the first corner, we take it nice and easy as these are coal tires. It takes a little bit for the tires to warm up on, on these uh, Group 1 cars. It actually takes about half a lap just due to the fact that um, it just has a lot of grip and it's just, uh, you have to be very, very careful with these tires because uh, if you just push it a little bit too much, you can easily spin yourself out. Or worse than that, just go a tad bit wide due to the understeer when you get onto the acceleration and accidentally find yourself off the track. And that is not a good time, trust me, trust me. Not a good time. But following pro here into the third sector. I'm not sure whether he was on old sauce or he was on the mediums, but clearly we were, uh, we had a little bit more pace than him heading into the final sector and we almost make contact with him heading off into the final corner here and uh, we're just uh, looking to, uh, to get around him because uh, he is slowing us down here as he uh, kind of cuts us off on the outside. He gave us, he left the door open on the outside. We try to go for it but uh, shut the door on us. It's fine. We're just going to get into the slip, head straight into the inside. A couple guys come into the pit, so we get an easy couple positions from them. But heading into turn number one is going to be side by side as we break as late as we can. Try to maximize the exit speed and maximize the grip that we have, but it just kept us pinched down into turn number one. He was able to get a really great exit. Kept down to the left hand side into turn number three, and he was able to just outbreak us and unfortunately we were unable to get around him so very good side by side racing but we didn't want to do that we wanted to get around him as we attempt to go for another look on an overtake going into turn number six go for the cheeky little cutback still side by side now as we head into this uh i guess you call it a straight here then he gets into turn 10 the dumb love chicane uh, staying on the outside here, he decides to uh, just kind of sneak it ahead of us. Was able to outbreak us, and then Holman comes out of nowhere, sneaks it. There's, there's another cheeky move right there, just uh, sneaks it onto the inside of us um, after we get overtaken by Pro, and uh, we lose a position there. So, we got held up by Pro here, but Holman shows us the way that's done. You can see that he just pushes out uh, Pro. I, I'm assuming that Holman's a little you know, frustrated after all the shenanigans he had to deal with. Uh, early in the race, but yeah, he was able to just push out pro and due to that we were able to just sneak it onto the inside go Go in uh, into the final corner uh, With a deep lunge in there we go We are now up into p10 here as we give Holman a little uh, bump draft here heading to turn number one Shifting onto the inside try to defend our position heading uh, or on pro it was a little bit naughty of a move I should have maybe made my move a bit earlier as pro was catching up to us, but um, heading into the breaking zone that's not what you want to do. You don't want to go into the inside or try to defend or block, I guess, uh, last minute as that can uh, frustrate the driver behind you. And not only that, it can catch the driver behind you off guard and they can easily just accidentally make contact with you and spin you out. So uh, don't recommend doing that uh, if you guys are stuck in a situation like that. But uh, like I said, looking back at it, it's a lot easier said than uh, in the heat of the moment when you're actually racing. But Anyways, we get a half a second penalty, so I mean, kind of, I guess, deserved for some of the moves I did heading into turn number one, but uh, on the bright note here, we are now up into P7, so somehow we were, I mean, I, I don't want to say somehow, but we were able to utilize the strategy and find our way up into P7, finding with Holman, but coming out of turn number one, we just accidentally pushed it too much and just bottled it coming out of the corner. And that just destroyed our run right there. As you can see, Holman was able to just 
pull away from us by three, three and a half seconds as we just cannot get back up to pace here. But we also had to serve another half a second penalty. So we're just stacking penalties on penalties for this race. And I was looking behind us as I was a little bit worried. It was uh, Chalky and ZZ Man right behind us. Now, and to turn number one, I'm just going to pause it right here and uh, just give you guys kind of like a, a game right here. So what do you guys think is going to happen? One, we're going to go into turn number one clean, no incidents, or two, we're going to get taken out by Luis. Now, I'm going to play it right now and show you guys exactly what happened. And if you pick number two, then you were absolutely right. We just get rammed by Luis and ZZ Man. And that is basically race over for us. Now, going into the replay, you can see that ZZ Man was just trying to get around Luis. And Luis was just blocking left and right, left and right. So ZZ Man got mad. Decides to punch out Luis. Luis hits us. And there we go, guys. That was basically it. <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't know what was, what was up with that. I don't know if they, they had some bad history here or just everyone was just tired of Luis shenanigans. But... Uh, ZZ Man decided to take matters to his own hand, take him out, and unfortunately, we got tangled up in that mess. And uh, no one to blame besides, I guess, myself. I mean, I guess I can blame ZZ Man and, and Luis, but uh, we would not have been in that position if we would have not spun ourselves out off of turn number one. So uh, now we're stuck here fighting with Luis. We try to go for a cutback and into turn number 10. Uh, very aggressive cutback because I was just very, very frustrated with this race. And how it turned out because I, I felt like I could have done a lot better but see the Luis goes a bit wide into the right hander and that is basically the end of the story right here we were able to get around him easily and take advantage full advantage of that mistake and we now find ourselves up in the top 10 so it's basically gonna be a recovery mode from here and just try to avoid stuff like that where we almost lose it on the final corner and uh, try to see if we can catch up to the Brazilian up ahead so on the final lap here, uh, nothing really happened between lap 10 and 12, but uh, I saw that we were gaining a little bit of time on the Brazilian up ahead. As long as we could just uh, keep it on the track, maybe, just maybe, with a little bit of hope and a little bit of luck, we can catch up to the Brazilian up ahead and get a P9, at least, you know, better than P10. But as we run our way through the middle part of the lap, uh, a couple guys were actually looking like they were struggling up ahead. Not sure if they were just... Um, running the sauce just very aggressive and they just didn't have any more grip but we were gaining on them and I had to take advantage of that especially because our sauce were still somewhat viable and uh, unfortunately going to turn to which is pleb it and go tap it wide but still not over I'm not giving up I still want to push as much as I can just in case one of these guys gets a penalty we can at least maybe hopefully take advantage of that and we can get around them uh, off of the final corner and lead us into the penalty zone so heading into the final corner we're just keeping an eye out to see if anyone had to serve a penalty but let's come out of the final corner unfortunately luck just was not on our side on this race and uh due to the fact that no one had a penalty we were going to come home with a p10 which i guess i can't be too mad about especially because we had two penalties and uh, we just got rammed going into turn number one so i mean top 10 I guess I can be happy about that, but it's just frustrating because I knew that it, the race could have been a lot better. But hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You just got to get back up and you just have to continue on forward and uh, just, you know, go on to the next race and just do your best from there. So let me know what you guys think about the video. If you guys really enjoyed it, please feel free to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below. It really helps out the channel when you guys do so. That. And if you guys want to follow me on the Twitches, Instagram, or even on Discord, you can find all those links in the description down below. And again, if you guys really enjoyed the video, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.